And it is the Kiss Station, Kiss 104.7, the best music and more chances to win. We do have on the line, been looking forward to this interview, and it is Paul, Musical Mindset. And how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Beautiful day in Chicago over here. Feeling blessed. Man, that is great. I guess uh, uh, we are all worthy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Every day we wake up with a breath in our lungs. Oh, my God. Let me first of all congratulate you on the success of Worthy. It's a fantastic song, man. Thank you. It's been a process for making it. It's uh, taken many months, many uh different people and uh yeah it's a beautiful song it's a part of me it's for the people <laughs> well it's obviously uh resonated with a lot of people including our listeners and uh, i wanted to you know we wanted to really uh find out more about you because the song has uh really created a buzz and one of the first things we wanted to ask because we know you're from chicago what was how did you get started in the music business and, and how did you come up with Worthy? Yeah, it's a good question. So starting off, um, when I was younger, I performed traditional Greek dance and played in um, Greek bands and did um, Greek singing from a really young age, performed from a really young age, and then getting into other instruments and um then let's fast forward now to now with uh, Worthy was um, I had a business partner um, that told me one day that I was replaceable and that sucked and it hurt and um, just throughout my whole life too trying to find the worthiness of myself that I can do it with music and a lot of people struggle with that with that sense of Am I worthy of my dreams, of my goals? And um, that's why you hear in the song, um, they told me I was replaceable. I was under your spell. Um, and yeah, and so that song came from a place of finding within myself confidence and knowing that, um, that circumstances in my life for a reason and um, just to inspire people to know that they are not replaceable and everybody is special, unique, and worthy of their dreams. And if we just kind of push forward at it and believe in ourselves, man, miracles can happen. Couldn't agree with you more. And I think that is one of the reasons why Worthy has really resonated with so many people. I, it was interesting because I was looking at your, your bio and one of the things that stood out and I was so impressed with was uh, what you said, you know, the enigma is at the center of new era in healing music and world music. And you're helping people find their true selves and unlock and fulfill their true potential. That stood out to me. And I, I, I really wanted to uh, find out, you know, how did you come up with that? What was the... Uh, inspiration behind that because that is fascinating man yeah it's a good question so again growing up with um, the Greek inspiration in my life and Greek being a big part of my life living in Greece for a long time living in Hawaii and kind of taking all these experiences and putting it into one but uh, long story short just kind of suffering with um health issues for about seven years on and off and really nothing helping me nothing at all and i was one summer basically bedridden and going to all these big, different doctors and nothing helped and i actually went out to hawaii to live there for a while and slowly becoming uh, in tune with nature and, and kind of diving into some shadows and stuff realizing that i mean we're all the medicine we all can heal ourselves it's scary though but we just got to go to those places and then from there i started getting into like yoga healthy eating uh, and then I went to Spain and got certified in sound healing. So now I kind of do like uh, smaller groups with uh, sound healing, breath work, yoga type things. I do retreats to Greece, in my homeland of Greece. I do a retreat coming up uh, to Costa Rica in February and trying just to inspire people with my story because like if I can come from being in bed, doing nothing with my life, literally 
just like smoking weed and watching pornography and just doing really nothing, just stuck in really toxic habits. And if I could take myself from being in bed to doing what I'm doing now, like, wow, you know, you're just inspiring the people because people need inspiration. People need inspiration and inspirado and spirit. You need spirit, you know, here now. So. <laughs> well, 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 that's, that's, that's the, the best answer I, 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 yeah, I, I have heard. heard. <laughs> well, well, now, now what are the dark times now? We need the light. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, were there, there any groups, musical, musical artists that, that influenced you growing, growing up? up? Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a good question. Yes, uh, growing up in Chicago. Um, listening to a lot of rap, a rap, like mostly rap and reggae, and I had two older sisters, and I listened to what they listened to. So really, a lot of reggae and a lot of rap, and then m- later getting into like a lot of world music and then like electronic music. Because um, with my live performance, what I have is a whole looper setup. DJ deck with the original tracks. I sing live over my tracks. I do looping. I got a didgeridoo, a bunch of different instruments, and do live performances with it all, too. So it's worthy as uh, I have a dance remix to it, too. So all my songs have dance remixes and more like an upbeat. So all like that's the thing, too, with musical mindset. It's all the mindsets. You got like meditation type songs, movement, heart bass, and just all, all the elements of. You could get whatever you'd like on there, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, you know just, just from Worthy alone, alone, I mean, it, it has just, just taken, taken off, off in this area. area. And, and another, another question, question I really, really found fascinating, fascinating because, because I think the, your, your, your whole uh, uh, delivery, the whole music thing, thing is just phenomenal. phenomenal. Uh, uh, how, how did you come, come up with the alter ego? And what was the influence behind the alter ego musical mindset? Yeah, it's a good question. So, the so musical mindset is my performing name, and at the same time, it's my LLC that I have um, um, branded for my retreats and my healing session type stuff. Um, and I thought about that actually on the other interview someone asked me a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't really know, but then I thought about it, I said, wow, okay, musical mindset, it's, it's encompassing all like all the different mindsets of music that I have like meditative movement heart based so it's getting people to different kind of like uh, mindsets of music that are just a little different I guess per se and not just the normal like beat like a rap beat and talking about the struggle and how a girl broke your heart and maybe about Gucci this Gucci that blah blah um, just trying to get off the beaten path and, it, and to be honest getting off the beaten path sometimes can be difficult because there is judgment and there is um, a little uncertainty because in the music industry there is this like formula to making a song like sound like this or that but I've been trying to um, just go for my heart and you can tell that all, all, some of the other songs I have on Spotify are a little different some of them but um it's just what was calling at the time, and if it resonates with people and it doesn't, I made it for my heart. So not for my mind, I made it for my heart. So I'm trying to really just continually just make and create for my heart, not for my mind. Cause that, that's what gets you in trouble with your all your mind and stuff. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking, it's so, oh damn, I should have went left, wait, no, right? <laughs> great, damn. Great, great, great answer. answer. So, so I, 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 I take it that, that in, and actually, actually you could be back in, and uh, uh, say uh, segue into, into the next question, question is, so, so is, is your future, future music pretty, pretty much going to be the same, same way? way? Um, is it going to be the deeper level and the dealing deal with meditation and healing and different topics and, and reality, and reality. It, uh, will, will you always be putting that, that or will you just let your art take you on a journey as it comes? comes? That's a good question. So I'm really getting into like more movement stuff. So there's a worthy dance remix too. Um, to be honest, it's whatever I feel in life, like whatever experience I'm having and then I'll just take it write it down structure it work with I find different producers I work with and I get in the studio with them um, and just whatever I'm feeling and I always come up with stuff too like when I'm doing a live set 
um, I come up with stuff is live. Like whatever is just channeled through. Like I always just try to like give spirit the steering wheel, mm-hmm. and I try to get out of the way. And that's the best way when I can just get into a flow state. When I don't think, and I'm so present that it's just like you know what I mean. When you get in a flow state, when it goes by so fast, and you're like, whoa! Like I just try to get out of the way and let spirit or whatever you want to call it take the wheel, because. They or he or tree or whatever. <laughs> that was the best way. I don't know nothing, brother. <laughs> oh, if that I, makes sense. <laughs> if that makes sense. It, it, does, it, does, it does, does make sense. sense. It, 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 it definitely, definitely makes sense. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, what, what would, would before, well, before we get, get to that, uh, uh, give, give everybody, everybody your, your information that, that you know, you know uh, for social, social and how they, how they can find your music, music and all that, all that good stuff. stuff. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what really helps is to buy my music on Bandcamp. And you can go and look up on Bandcamp Musical Mindset. I have all my music on there. You could purchase it, and I get most of the most of the money from that. I have Spotify, Apple Music, and all those streaming platforms too. Those are really good, but I really don't get. Much. It's good for exposure, but a lot of artists nowadays the game has changed. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, yeah, and then Spotify is Musical Mindset. And Apple Music is getting changed over slowly, but it's Paul Grosso for now. And then, um, yeah, Instagram, musical underscore mindset one. But I'll be honest, I've been taking time back from social media, and I have like a friend once a week. Uh, I was doing a lot of social media cleanses just to get that. Just, it's a distraction for me, you know, and just to get into a place of creation and uh, taking some time to cleanse all that stuff and just try to create more music. So, and oh yeah, so my website too, um, musicalmindset.net. You can check out my retreat to Costa Rica in February mm-hmm. and uh, next October and all the other stuff I do. So, wow, that is awesome. <laughs> Now, uh, very quickly, um, you know, there's people out there, young musicians, uh, people that are hearing you and they are inspired by you, influenced by you. And they're saying like, okay, I want to be where, you know, Paul is. I want to be where musical mindset is. I want to do what he's doing. What advice would you give an up and coming musician uh, that's out there right now? Mm -hmm. So first off, don't be afraid to be yourself. That's the biggest one. It is literally just authentically and radically be yourself as best possible. And the steps you gotta do to be yourself is find yourself first. So you gotta sit in a room alone um, for a while and not be afraid to face those uh, parts of yourself that are uh, trying to, you know, I mean, just going to those places inside of yourself that are vulnerable. And first off, find yourself and um, be yourself and don't try to impress anybody and be as confident as you can and look in the mirror in the morning and say, I love the beautiful. And then you're Gucci. <laughs> 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 and put your big block in nature with their feet and then you're good you got all the answers right there smooth sailing if that makes sense oh it oh, does, it does. <laughs> well alright well uh, real quick before you go give everybody that information on how to get your music one more time yeah so you guys can go to band camp and look up musical mindset and then you can go, that's how you can purchase if that helps the best for me. And then you could go on Spotify, uh, at Musical Mindset, and then Apple Music for now, it's changing over, but it's Paul Grosso. And musicalmindset.net, to come to Costa Rica, because it gets really cold here in Chicago, you gotta get out of those winter blues. And just to see more what I'm about, and uh, don't forget that you're the medicine, and you are beautiful. And only you can know that. I love that. I absolutely love it. <laughs> well, all right. Well, Paul, Musical Mindset, it has been an absolute 
pleasure to have you on the show this morning and taking time. I know you got a busy schedule and to take time to talk with us and chop it up. We really, really appreciate you. All right. Have a good day. That was fun. All right. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Musical Mindset, and this is my new song, Worthy, on Kiss FM. You told me I was replaceable. And I believed you I believed you You told me I was replaceable I was under your spell And I believed you But deep down low Deep down low There's a voice saying Yeah.